Captain's Log, date December 10th, 1943. Under a bright orange sunset, the SS-202's engines roar to life as we slip away from our mothership once again. Operational orders for this patrol are as follows. The USS Trout is to proceed to the vicinity of Appy Passage to conduct anti-shipping operations. Once this objective is completed, we are to sail to the South China Sea. We are departing Fremantle at a burst 17 knots. We will refill midway up the Australian coast and then proceed onwards from there. Hello everybody, Wolf back here and welcome to patrol number 10 in Silent Hunter 4. We are currently proceeding uh, up the Australian coast and we are going to refuel here at this little tender. I'm not sure the name of this bay here, uh, I'm not an Australian, but there is a refueling station here so we will go ahead and refuel and proceed onward towards uh, Borneo more or less. Uh, Appy Passage is what they are calling it, and we are to conduct anti-shipping operations up here. Once I'm done with that, I think we'll uh, head up into the South China Sea a bit, and maybe the East China Sea, and maybe the Sea of Japan, but that is a tad far. I don't know if we'll be able to make it that far, but I'm thinking pro probably the East China Sea is doable. Maybe around Okinawa might be a bit of fun, uh, but that is the current plan as it stands. As you can see, we are heading full speed through these choppy seas here. And wow, these are some pretty big swells. But we seem to be doing okay. There are a few, actually really just one change to the boat. We have, da 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 da, where is it? We have uh, radar receiver, uh, radar warning receivers. Uh, it's APR-1, radar countermeasures. So. If a uh, Japanese destroyer happens to be equipped with radar, oh, we will know about it. Same with aircraft, but uh, it's a lot more rare than in the Atlantic playing as a German U-boat. So, But it should still come in handy when we know um, something out there has radar. Everything else more or less is staying the same. Our torpedo loadout is as follows. I have an equal complement. Actually, I have more Mark 14s than I do Mark 18s, but quite a few Mark 18s loaded up and ready to go. Other than that, everything uh, is hunky-dory aboard the USS Trout. We'll proceed onward. I'm thinking after this patrol, I will transfer to uh, Pearl and Midway. Um, just to spice things up a little bit, really start going into the Sea of Japan and stuff uh, the last few years of the war it is december 12th 1943 so it looks like we'll be spending another christmas at sea which i feel like every single christmas in game at least uh i've been at sea which kind of sucks <laughs> for my crew it's kind of unfortunate for them i'm thinking we'll go through here through the sundra strait just to get a little uh a little excitement here uh getting real close to mirac here uh, we'll probably go through the straight decks of wash and hopefully avoid any uh, nasty surprises the Japanese have for us there. We'll see. This is probably a terrible idea. The water here is fairly shallow. We'll have to keep that in mind as we patrol this area. Anyway, that's the brief update. Uh, the pre-patrol uh, discussion, I suppose, as I kind of do every single patrol. Um, I'll get to you guys, well we fit, and I'll probably get to you guys when we're about to uh, cross the Sundra Strait here, because that is where things might get a little spicy. So, I will see you guys whenever that happens. So I'm getting back to you folks a little sooner than I thought I would because of this interesting radio message. Effective January 1st, 1944. All Tambor class submarines will shift home ports to comm sub pack. And that is, in fact, Midway Island up here. And this is uh, pretty good news for me. I'm actually pretty excited. I was afraid sailing out of Australia would get a little stale. So uh, sh shifting operations to Midway would be quite a bit of fun. And uh, reading, it seems like American submarines uh, sail switched ports from Australia to Pearl and Midway quite kind of frequently. Uh, they were all around and everywhere. So I think it would be quite a bit of fun. 
So this gives me a good reason. I wonder if this will update January 1st. I suspect it will. We have 15 days or or 16 days. I don't know how many days are in December and January or in uh, 1943, but I guess we'll find out. Anyway, uh, just a brief little update on that, and I will continue onward. We did refit here. Our fuel is topped off. We're at 97% already. We're heading to third speed, though. So uh, we have about three or four days until we reach this area. I'm going to start diving periodically just in case Japanese scout planes are in the area as we approach uh, <laughs> Japanese-controlled waters. All right, so with that little update out of the way, I'll continue onward. All right, sailing through here. The Japanese definitely have uh, battery emplacements. Uh, man battle stations. We just got hit in the engine room. Hull damage is already at 11%, god damn. All ahead flank. Probably have them uh, on that island. Yep, there's a shell flying right towards us. Brace for impact, boys. Oh, shh. All right, get under, get under. God, I was not expecting that. I was just out here. I was about to start recording and be like, okay, so now we're sailing past this little island. But, yep, the Japanese definitely uh, were ready for us. We have no radar warning. Okay, another shell flying towards us. Looks like it's going to overshoot. Thank God. Yeah, that beach is really uh, lighting up with muzzle flashes. Thankfully, we're getting under fairly quickly. And that's already 11% hull damage. That's not good. Alright, let's get under. Let's see, how are we doing? Alright, so our paint scratched apparently. Other than that, it looks like no serious damage. Everything's okay besides our paint. Uh, but the hole itself is kind of hurt. And we're going to have to keep that in mind as we continue onward. All ahead slow. Bring her down to 60 feet. Alright, well, I guess we'll stay here. That was very unexpected. I don't know if there is a destroyer. Yes. On the way now. A little sub chaser or something. I can't believe they saw us. It's pitch black as well. No, it looks like nothing is on the way, so I think we'll be alright. Yeah, we're gonna be okay here. Well, that was terrifying. <laughs> uh, but I think we're gonna get out of this little straight A okay. Let's go ahead and pop a peek here. CO2 is apparently getting a little high. Oh, I might have bigger fish to fry here. Let's see here. Do a quick scan. There is the landmass itself. There's the port. We're just going to sail right past that. I have no interest of... Uh, paying them a visit at the moment. It looks like more land. Hopefully this straight isn't mined or else we'll be in for another nasty surprise. But I think we'll, we're okay. So with that out of the way, we'll proceed onward. We're almost there, honestly. Uh, I mean, Japanese air cover is probably going to get a little dicey here, especially as we close into Singapore. But that is another problem for another day, so I will continue onward and see you guys soon. Okay, so we have a lone merchant contact. I've just reached the area of Appy Passage. And I was just going down to see if we could get a better listen here on any merchant contacts. And whenever I picked up this little fella, so let's go ahead and mark him. At the moment, it just seems like it's just one ship here. Let's see, it's bearings 270. Let's take a listen for ourselves. See if it's just one contact or multiples. Looks just like one lone merchant contact. Might be a good uh, candidate for a deck gun attack. Or maybe just one torpedo and then finishing her off with the deck gun. It looks like, wow, she's just heading due east. Well, that simplifies things for us quite a bit. Uh, we don't really have to move at all. 
We can even probably set up a stern torpedo shot here. Which works just fine with me. Yeah. This ship's just legitimately just heading due east. Perfect. Okay. Uh, all engines stop. Yes, sir. We'll uh, mellow out here at around 100 feet. I'm not really concerned about keeping depth, so it's okay if we stop completely. Just trim the boat with uh, compressed air. And we'll go ahead and uh, man battle stations. Gosh, this is just being handed to us, honestly. Not really complaining. It could always be just a little piece of junk, though. So he's at about 1,400 uh, yards away. I do want to close in a little bit more. So let's go ahead and uh, go back a little bit. Now, let's see, current range to target. Or actually, let's use uh, sonar here. Range to target. Uh, well, that's not right. It's only, yeah, that's obviously wrong. <laughs> He's only 3,000 yards away? I don't think so. I'll stop, let's come up to periscope now. He's still about, what, a nautical mile away? Six nautical miles away? Yeah. He's pretty far out. I, he's probably invisible, though. Alright. Closing in on 60 feet. Let's go to the periscope. Up, scope. Alright, and there she is. Definitely not a junk. Definitely a fairly heavy steamer here. Let's keep laying and waiting, and of course, okay. I thought we were gonna get the uh, the creaking bug. All right. So definitely a stern torpedo shot. And we'll probably go ahead and use one of our Mark 18s here. We'll use one torpedo, hopefully cripple her with a magnetic pistol. And then if she's still uh, up, we're fairly alone out here, so I think we'll finish her off with a uh, cannon. All right, so we got our first visual contact here. So let's go ahead and get ready to three minute her, start tracking speed can get rid of this since it's not completely accurate anymore and someone texted me and go away all right Let's see if we can begin identifying it definitely looks like one of the older merchant vessels I have a feeling I know what it is I forgot the name however um, here uh, I think this is it a Zimbu Maru I believe this is gonna be her but again can't be 100% certain passing one minute two minutes and closing in on three I think she's going at a fair pace probably seven knots six knots okay I need to turn off my phone Jesus mark Maybe, yeah, probably seven, huh? Eight. Well, you know, close enough, I suppose. All right, let's turn this bloody thing off real fast. All right, perfect. Stop that. Let's go ahead and get a accurate course reading here. Really heading due east. Perfect. So that is going to be a 90 degree angle when we shoot, and that is perfect for our um, G7E or Mark 18 torpedoes. 
All right, let's go ahead and lower our scope here. We want to practice some periscope discipline due to the uh, calmness of these waves. I mean, look how silky smooth that is. That is no good for us. I do believe... Oh, I don't know, actually. Uh, we'll see once the angle changes. I'm not 100% sure, though. Uh, hydrophone operator, let's go ahead and follow him. Follow the nearest contact, there we go. I want to just wait here. Let's actually... Hmm. No, I'm not too worried about This is a fairly decent range. But let's go ahead and back up just a smidge. Medium speed. Yeah, I guess 8 knots technically is medium speed, huh? Alright, now all ahead forward, but just one knot. Alright, scope up. Definitely a Zambu Maru. Lock that in. Alright, so the draft of this vessel is 15 feet. 15.4 feet. So torpedo depth will do... 16 of a foot. I'll be shooting tube number 10. Yeah, we'll shoot tube 10. So, there we go. 16 and a half feet. Speed is low, you can't switch it. Contact influence pistol. Let's go ahead and establish range. I believe this one is from the smokestack. Indeed, it is. So, range at the moment. Mark speed eight knots. Mark and AOB. Wow, maybe 20 degrees. Yeah, let's go with 20. The moment, turn on position keepers, scope down. Now we just need to wait here. Yeah, it ranges off. Let's see, actually. Let's up scope. Lock on target. Let's see how... So, yeah, definitely the range is off here. Uh, let's go ahead and do... Alright. Send that range. Range is 1,300 yards. Send that to the TDC. Oh, that is much better on the range. Scope up. Let's get a better AOB here. Ooh. Probably sort of 40 degrees. Probably 45. It's changing rapidly now. We're so close, so. Yeah, it's looking good. Not too bad. Alright, we need to get ready to fire. Start reversing. Lock on target. Alright, AOB now. Let's make sure everything is hunky dory. Seventy-five. Mark. Sonar. Send that. Eight hundred yards. Range is still going a little quick, but open tube number 10. Let's go time. Adjust AOB, mark. Tube 8, fire. Let's see, 43 second runtime. Nine, 
There's our torpedo. They're merging. Bearing one, nine, three. Impact. Right on target. Scope up. Whoa. <laughs> Beautiful. That was right. That was perfectly timed. That is awesome. Okay, that was great. And that was our uh, magnetic pistol. Looks like uh game kind of glitched out. We don't have any damage, but still magnetic pistol did the job. Didn't even have to surface, which is good because the vessel did have a deck gun somewhere. I believe it was on the stern. I saw it when I was looking through the periscope. I don't know if I mentioned it. Where did we hit? It's unfortunate like I don't know where I hit, but Oh well, that's not important. She is definitely going down. One torpedo, one ship. That was, I'm pretty happy with that result. It's a lot better than uh, uh, some, most attacks. So, hell yeah, I'll take it. So, and we got a uh, mission complete on all of it so we can go ahead and leave this area and head northwards towards the South China Sea once we're done here and really start going crazy against uh, some Japanese convoys but she is done for well I think that'll do it for this here episode thank you all for watching as always and uh, this is Wolfpack signing off see you guys next time <laughs>